So today, I'm going to start trying to put together all of the different uh, pots. So hopefully that should be visible. I've got a little bit of an over the shoulder shot as well. Um, but uh, I'm gonna have to try and adjust the camera as I go. Uh, one of the things that I will be dealing with first is just starting with these pots from this end and working my way down. So as I get about to here, to so the input jack section, I'll wanna kind of readjust the camera. So I'm getting that shot over in here as well. But uh, we'll go ahead and get going. Now, one thing I did do as well that I'll kind of do at the end probably is I bought myself a, uh, an output or a jack for the foot switch section that we showed in the last video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start going at it. I probably won't be talking a whole lot on this because this is pretty straightforward stuff. I'm gonna put some headphones on, listen to music, and I may ramble a little every once in a while, but uh, right, here we go. All right, it's over the top cut. I just need a jumper. The right two. Okay, brilliant switch. I've got to get this little cap in there. So what I might do is loosen it just enough to rotate it sideways to make this a little easier to solder and then roll it back when I'm done. Actually, I might take that out for the short term to get this a little easier to put in. Okay, that one goes to the middle of the volume pot. All right, now I need a jumper between this guy and this guy from the <coughs> outer side. So let me take one of these scraps. Hole's too small to go in, so I'm gonna have to build up a little on top of it, I guess. Definitely not optimal, but probably should be using smaller gauge wire. Maybe I should debate undoing this wire and get a smaller gauge wire in there. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Now the only problem I have though is that the next one comes in as big gauge as well. That's the one on the opposite side. Left-handed solder iron holding is always a pain in my butt because I'm not that steady. All right, let's fold this guy down now and see if we can get her in the hole. We can't, so we'll put her in back on the right way. I'm going to be running a grounding bus eventually that will come across here as well, and I'll ground pots that need grounding to that at the end, but I'm just getting all the wires hooked up for now. These black wires are my grounding connections as well. So I'll be connecting those into um, the grounding bus also. I'm just gonna get a, a wire that will come across here that's bare on purpose, that's just for grounding things to it. And then I've gotta attach that to a good grounding point. But we'll figure that out as we get to the end of that part. This one, I believe, goes over to the center of the vibrato.
All right, so I'm gonna take a break on the filming because we've hit our um, spot where we're gonna go off screen pretty much at this point, so I'm gonna adjust. Okay, next up, if you can see over here, we need to connect in, we've already got my pots and this wire comes from over there, but uh, this is gonna connect into the vibrato tremolo switch here, so I'm luckily again gonna need to take this guy out and hook into it and then pull back out. So the vibrato tremolo switch just has a connection that goes between it and ground. Um, so of course I've got that nice and tight. see that I'm gonna basically solder that guy kind of like that oh, come on stop fighting me Set it on something and balance it. That will let me get that flat. But so far, I'm not finding that spot. There we go. You guys get to see it right off the edge there. I don't know if it's a little out of focus, but. Uh, do for now is get a small black wire that I'll wire into the other end of that that will be my ground connection because I can't once I get that back in the spot it's gonna be hard to see otherwise if I don't put myself a nice rear grounding position on it and I will trim a little bit of that excess over here All right. Similarly, I'm going to try and kind of pinch this guy in. All right. That's wired now. So as I said, I'll put it in and I'll kind of bring that out so that I can see it later for hooking it to ground. All right, and that will connect to the ground. And now the depth pot. That will jumper between the two. Meanwhile, the first connection comes from this guy and connects into the middle of the depth pot. I'm going to probably go a little bit like this. Now one of the things you may notice is for now the wires for example are a bit loosey-goosey. I'm just getting connected. I will go back after and try and do a little bit of beautification if I can to make them a little bit more straight and neat looking so they're not quite so uh, all over the place. But I'm just trying to get them connected and make sure that that looks good first. And what I'll do once that cools is kind of push the wire down and out of the way. So now, from the other side of that is where I bring in my cap. 
and that will connect effectively from there to here. So I'll first get a sense of where I need that to be. I'll let that dry and cool. And we'll clean up these other connections. Next step will be to adjust this guy a little bit neater. And then solder it in. You don't want to move your joints too much until they're cooled because that can create those mini fractures that cause dry solder joints that suck. So, alright, that's done. Now let that cool. So, um, the last connection on that guy is going to be a, uh, I think it's a 22K to ground, but I'll need to look at the schematic really quickly. Oh, and then I went and soldered that in too soon here, because I need to actually connect this guy into that, and then a jumper to the middle, I think, I'm looking right. But for now, I will, um, at least put this guy in. All right, that's good enough. So what I need to do is get this one now and strip it to about where I want it. Okay, that little bit of silvering is a sign that it, yeah, I moved the joint, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that sit for a second and reposition this through the jumper that I want, and then I will reheat the joint so that both of them get good and solid. Now I've jumpered that one, so I'll just fill in the solder on the middle one first. And then I will reflow this one really quickly. And just like that. Alright, that should be good to go. Now I can snip excess wire pieces up right here. And my next step, I'm going to take a short break. My next step is going to be to run a grounding bus. Uh, I will connect the grounding bus from here out and down across to my last grounding position, which is on the normal volume pot here, and then get a chassis ground somewhere in either end of that. And then I will also tie in this ground and this ground into it, but then my last ground, which is this, this phase inverter ground. Now let me think, actually, it's... Yeah, so the phase inverter and the and the power amp grounds I'm going to put into a separate location on their own. This is something that uh, Slucky does that should hopefully make it a little bit quiet, quieter sounding as well because you keep those higher, uh, kind of higher amperage or higher output level stages, the power output and the phase inverter on their own separate grounds so those float around quicker, closer to the, they're also closer to the transformer. This one will put a little bit further away so that it takes longer for these lower current things to push themselves, you know, across and down. So, all right, that'll stop there and we'll get back to you soon.